What's going on guys? This is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about this Go Berkey water filtration kit. This is really a cool kit. I think it has a lot of highs. I think it has uh, some lows and we'll talk about those a little bit in the future of the video here. But let's first off get started and talk about the actual construction and uh, what it all entails when you're going to purchase it. This comes with a black Berkey filter as you can see on the inside here and it looks like it is going to you know take up a lot of room on the inside. It does take up a lot of room because that black Berkey filter does a lot of filtration and it has a lot of capability as far as filtering uh, stuff out. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But as you can see, it does take up a lot of room. Uh, the cool thing though is this has a rate and I've confirmed too, you know, for the most part that, you know, about a gallon an hour is what this can filter. And that's basically because of the size. Uh, it's not huge. It's 14 inches tall. It's four inches uh, in diameter. So you're going to get um, a lot of capability as far as when you're out in the wilderness. Uh, are you going to find some things on the market that could probably filter faster? Yes, but with what it provides with the actual filter and the capabilities that are in there to really get a lot of stuff that other filters don't touch when it comes to filtration, I'm going to accept that and I think it's acceptable when it comes to uh, backpacking, traveling, etc. Now as you see here on the bottom here you have a little bit of a nipple. Maybe not a little bit, but there is definitely a nipple right there. And what that's going to do for you is that's where the water is going to drip out into the bottom container here. As you can see, these get connected here. There's a little bit of a bevel, and that bevel uh, that seats into the bottom part, and you get a total construction constructed uh, system like that. Like I said, this is 14 inches tall. There's a top to it, but it's in my bag, and I forgot to bring it out for the review. But there's a top to this, which you can uh, put on there. The good thing about this is it is compact. You can actually take this off, reverse it, and put it in there like that. It gets us to our first thing that I think can actually be changed. On the top here, you can see that nipple. Now, the one thing you don't want to have happen is have this internal uh, filter move around too much. Okay, it already moves around a little bit. But it's basically on that, uh, that stem, or that nipple right there. And to have this exposed when you kind of uh, have it in compact mode, you know, I really think the design could be a little bit different so that it doesn't, uh, stick out and you know if you have it in your pack um, if, if you have it and you're, you're carrying it or you put it in the back of your car and it's in compact mode where this is kind of extended out there you know it's out there and it could break off and then you're gonna have um, a problem on your hands because you're not gonna have the ability to filter water at that point and this is just gonna be a paperweight so I think this whole system with the stem and when you go into compact mode I think that could be different. I'm not sure how, quite frankly. Um, I have looked at it for the past few months now, trying to understand how that could be redesigned. I'm not sure because that is a system. Now, as far as the Royal Berkey, which is another filter that I have, it works perfectly fine in that setup because it's more of a standalone setup. But this being more of a on-the-go or a travel setup, um, I'm not sure that that actually uh, is good for that situation because of the ability to have this kind of break off. This is plastic. It's a plastic stem. It's a plastic uh, wing nut right here. You know, so I definitely think that's something that could be improved upon. But like I said, at this point, I'm not sure how that can be improved upon. As far as what this actually will hold, this will hold a quart. Uh, so you're gonna get a quart uh, at a time, for the most part, out of uh, your filtration. And it filters really quick. And the cool thing is, you know, this is made of stainless steel, 304 stainless steel. So this is as far as food grade or as far as keeping things sanitary goes. You know, it's made of materials that you're not going to have any kind of questions that you know go along with that. That being said, though, there is a huge downfall that I see. I mean, it's not huge. Maybe in some people's eyes, it'll be uh, not a big problem. But in my eyes, you know, you're buying the system to be completely, you know, water purification. And the thing that I see with this setup being in a travel mode, and this actually makes up for it, which is the uh, Sport Berkey, which comes with this setup. But what this does that I'm not a huge fan of is the fact that you're trying to keep the water pure. So you fill this up, and this is actually in the Berkey, the video on their website. You see someone actually put this into a lake and come up, and the water is dripping down the sides of this, okay? And then they're gonna put it on the top of this, okay? Now, what's the point here? The point is to keep it water, the purified water uh, inside this. Well, what happens? Number one, once you do something like that, that water is gonna drip down into here and get into the reservoir it's supposed to be purified. So in that sense, I think that, you know, there could be, you know, again, some improvements, or when you go out and you do this, what you want to do is have this already attached and you want to pour the water into the top. Um, so I think that's just a, uh, a matter of uh, transitioning in and, and instructions uh, versus, you know, taking this and 
taken into a lake or some sort of a, a contaminated you know water source and your goal is to uh, you know get fresh water but you know you have all this water dripping down the sides and you're just going to put it right on the inside there and get it into the bottom okay so that's one thing you want to watch out for when you have this on the go setup the other thing that i think that could be improved upon is the fact that this lip right here is always exposed okay so even when you have this on top you have this exposed lip on the outside you know that's not going to be exactly the cleanest thing in the world so when you get your water you know into here and you you actually get the clean water into the bottom here the other problem I see is, and I've come across, is how do you get the water out of here without having it go across that lip, which is exposed, which probably has some sort of, you know, nasties on it. Is it going to kill you? Probably not because, you know, a quart of water over this lip right here, eh. But there's definitely that, always that chance that's going to happen. Okay, when you, now when I said the sport Berkey over here kind of makes up for that, let me explain why. The sport Berkey is, is ingenious in my opinion because you know you put the water in here and you can you could pour it you can just go in there and scoop it out it doesn't matter and then you put this in here you screw it on the top okay now where are you going to drink it from okay you're going to drink it from right there but it gets better you actually can squeeze this out of the top okay you can squeeze the water out of here you don't have to drink it which means you never have to touch the top of this which means it's never gonna get dirty when you're in a situation, as a survival situation, which a lot of people use these for bugging out, uh, natural disasters. You never have to actually touch the top of that, okay? Which is ingenious because then you just flip it back down and you don't have to touch it. It's never gonna get contaminated. Of course, you wanna clean it from time to time. But for the most part, you know, if you do this situation and uh, you squirt it in your mouth, kind of like a sports bottle, if you've ever played, you know, football, baseball, basketball, soccer, whatever, uh, what have you, you know, you squeeze it in your mouth and then you go ahead and shut it and uh, you move on but you never get that part contaminated the problem with this that i see is that you have that lip where you pour the water out that you're always going to have contaminated um so how much contamination does it have you know i'm not going to be doing any tests where i'm going to be swabbing this after i go on a backpacking trip and checking etc it's just an observation and a lot of people that i've seen review these have said oh they're great and they're wonderful and they've never had any criticisms and you know what everything out there can you know, it has its highs and it has its lows. So I like to keep it real on this channel and tell you exactly how I feel about something. You know, that's something I think could be improved upon. As far as the actual filter goes, you know, this reduces, you know, parasites and it reduces viruses that are in the water uh, up to 99.999%. I've seen tests on these things and they really do filter out a lot better. You know, I have a Catadyne uh, Hiker Pro. I have a Catadyne, um, I think it's called just the, uh, I forget what it's called actually, but it has also, it has a carbon filter uh, or a ceramic filter. And what that does is, you know, you get to pump it. And, you know, the difference between this is you don't put out energy to actually make, get this water pure, okay? When you're out and you're in a natural disaster situation, you're in a bug out situation, you're in a situation where you need to conserve your, your energy, this kind of setup actually works really well because you don't have to do anything. All you gotta do is put the water on the top and it's gravity fed. And that's one thing that I think is a positive because you don't have to extend the, the energy to constantly pump, uh, which is like what those um, those uh, Catadyne and, and other on the market, you know, MSR, Sweetwater, I think is what it's called, but there's a lot of those pumps uh, on the market. And that's the one thing that this kind of, you know, defeats the purpose of having to put calories out to actually get your water pure. So I think that's definitely a high point with this. As you can see though, as I'm talking, you can actually see this kind of wobble around, uh, which again gets to, you know, the, uh, I don't say sanitation, but it gets to the purification of it. You know, it's not a, and it's very difficult to manufacture something and have it fit tightly, but that just leaves another area for, you know, it not to be pure on this lip area. Okay, so again, just another observation. As far as recommending this for backpacking, you know, if you want to carry in the weight, this is around two and a half pounds. You know, I definitely think that it would be something that you would want to do because, you know, you're not, you're going to save calories uh, versus using a pump. Uh, personally, I don't have any problems using, you know, a pump. I have a Catalan Hiker Pro and a Catalan Hiker and, you know, I love them. That's what I use when I go in the backcountry because they're made of plastic. They've, they've worked uh, for a very long time, never had any problems with them. Uh, but if you're looking for something like this, because you gotta think about it, the other thing you can do with this in a survival situation is you have a container that is stainless steel and you can use this to boil water. You know, if it comes down to that, say something happens to this part of it, you know, you have this other part that you can actually boil water in because it's stainless steel. 
So you put the water in there and boil it. You got yourself a container. What's the one thing you need in you know backpacking or even in, a, in survival situations more so is you need containers. So you know with this you're actually getting like two containers out of it. And, you know if you count this as a container, you, know, you can always plug up the hole in the bottom and figure that out with a piece of tape or something. You know you can easily you know definitely break this down and use it in a survival situation. If you you know put with it because you're obviously going to need some sort of bottle out there or bottles. You know if you carry this with you. You know, you're really increasing your odds of, you know, with water purification. And uh, I like this a lot better than I like this, only because of that purification situation. Uh, because you don't have to get, you know, the, the area where you're trying to purify and get the water out of is, is completely and utterly pure on this bottle. It is not on this setup. The only way you would get to that is if you cleaned this lip before every use and you only pour it in the water here, okay? So, you know, those are definitely the, what I would say the shortcomings. The high comings are the, the water filter. The water filter itself is top of the line. You're not gonna find a better water filter out there on the market, bar none, period. Not gonna happen. So let's face it, if you're looking for something that is definitely going to last a long time, you know, like I talked about that Catadyne Hiker Pro and the Catadyne Hiker, the made of plastic, this is made of stainless steel. Um, you know, it's made to last because it's made of metal. Um, in my opinion, stuff that's made of metal is gonna last longer. You know, I think you're getting a pretty good value here. It's about $150 for this kit, which uh, also includes a Sport Berkey, which um, I don't have to read this off because I don't remember it. But from any water source, that's basically saying from anything out there, you're gonna spend 160, you're gonna get 160 refills of this. Uh, from like a well water or municipal, you can get 360 refills out of this or 640 refills out of this. You know, it's 22 ounces. You're getting that with this. So on top of this 3,000 gallon, um, you know, capacity of what you can get out of this kit, you're also getting this in there as well. So I think it's a pretty good value because, you know, on top of uh, on top of this, you're getting that. And I always like when you can get two things for one because, you know, you can use this in a single capacity. You can use this without that. You can use them independently. Um, and, you know, if you were on a trip with someone else, you know, one person can carry this, one person can carry that. Um, you know, I think it's a, it's a great setup. It comes with a nice pouch, a nice padded pouch. And like I said, the only things I have, you know, everything else works perfect. You know, what you're basically paying for here is the filter. The filter itself is around $55 uh, just for the filter. Um, and like I said, you know, I'm gonna, you know, put down in the description, probably a link to where this is and it shows exactly what this filter is out. I mean, it's just pages and pages of what this filters out. And uh, when you look at the tests and the results, I'm, I'm not gonna go through them all, um, but I will put the links down below. When you look at it compared to others, um, it really does blow them out of the water. So I definitely think that uh, it's a good value. It's gonna last a while and uh, it does look pretty cool. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you uh, have any uh, Berkey water filters, go ahead and put your comments down below about how you like them. And uh, you know, better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later. And uh, it's nice, and uh, it feels like it is made. Um, God, I'm tired of saying um. You think after 900 some videos, I would stop saying um um um, but uh, this is kind of how I do it. <laughs>